Well, first of all, we're excited about an opportunity to go on the road and play against an SEC opponent. Uh, certainly got a lot of respect for Mississippi State, their new staff, and the quality start that they're off to. Um, 29 seniors, a really veteran group uh, that they have returning, one of the better teams that Mississippi State has had uh, in the last eight or ten years. So we're going to have our hands full, but I think our kids are excited about the opportunity to go play against a really formidable opponent. Thank you, Coach. Our first questions come from uh, Brett Hudson with the Commercial Dispatch. Please go ahead, Brett. Uh, hey, Coach. I've got a couple, if you don't mind, on the uh, on the ties with ULL and, and Mississippi State first. What do you think DJ Looney has, has added to, to your staff? Well, certainly DJ's an um, experienced player in the SEC. Um, being from Alabama, having a chance to play at Mississippi State, um, you know, the contacts that he has throughout the are some of the fertile areas that we recruit have been critical. I think he also has done a really good job in terms of his relationship with the players. Um, I think he's a good teacher. He's a good young coach and a guy that has a bright future in this profession. And obviously it's an interesting week for, for your players given Coach Hud is, is over here now. I mean, what is that kind of dynamic like for for them, and, and what do you think of, of what Coach Hud left for you? Well, I've said pretty openly and publicly that uh, I think that UL is a better place because of Coach Hud Smith and what he was able to accomplish here, not only uh, the success he had early in his tenure here, but uh, the efforts that he put into the facility improvements and, the, you know, some of the tradition that he established. So there's no question, I think everyone would agree here, that this is a better program because of what Coach Hutt accomplished here. Thanks, Coach. All right, thank you, uh, Brett. Our next questions come from Dan McDonald with The Advocate. Dan, please go ahead. Morning, Coach. Uh, two questions real quick. I know you had the open date. Did you accomplish everything that you wanted to do in the open date? And also, too, uh, looking ahead to Mississippi State, uh, you're going up against one of the best quarterbacks in the country in Fitzgerald. What what do you try to do to slow down his effectiveness? Well, concerning the first question, the open day, I thought we had a good week. I think our guys really worked well. Probably two out of three days, a lot of first day back was a little bit sloppy. Uh, but I did like the attitude and the effort of the players on Wednesday and Thursday. Uh, we were able to quality control the first game experience as a first-year staff, which I thought was beneficial not only for our football team and staff, but for our support staff and our recruiting staff. Uh, but we're, we're right on schedule in terms of executing our plan for the week. We had good work last night, and uh, certainly the day being our players' day off, um, we'll be prepared to have a good week the rest of the way. You know, I think you're right about the quarterback. We all know about Fitzgerald and his accomplishments as a player there. Uh, certainly not a very highly regarded guy coming out of high school. And Coach Mullen had a knack for finding those guys and, you know, getting those guys to play well. And you can see that he's picked up where he left off. Uh, obviously against K-State, had a really efficient day. Guy's a big physical guy. He's tough to tackle. And uh, I think it's important that we've got to tackle well uh, when we do get an opportunity to do that. So he's, he's, a, he's a good player, and we've got a tremendous amount of respect for him. Appreciate it, Coach. Thank, thank you, Dan. And thank you, Coach. That's all the questions we have for you today. We uh, do appreciate your time. All right. Thank you, guys.